All right, guys, it's time to take a look at this oddball here, the Biotic Formicity Carpenter colorway. This is a deep, dark brown. Like, I love the dial on this thing for sure. Uh, but I've noticed, as probably a lot of you guys have noticed, this watch has been kind of floating around in social media. And uh, I don't know about you, but for me, I was just like, I don't, the two crown thing, I don't know. But you put it on wrist and it just, it fits good. It wears good. I, I think I could do with or without the second crown, but it's definitely different and it definitely works. You guys will just have to chime in and let me know. I mean, you guys can speak with your own money too, because the Kickstarter launch is going to be June of 2022 with a price tag of only $399 at launch. I believe that's accurate information. I'll put a link down below in the description this is a very well-built watch, so it's definitely a brand that I'm interested in, and I'm curious to see where they go even later on after this. But we're a minute in, and we haven't even talked about the watch specs. Let's do that. I measure 39 and a half millimeter for the case from like here to here. The lug to lug is about 46.7. You can see deep scallops on the side of the case, both sides. Nice scalloped case design. I like that. Drilled lugs. And I measure 11.6 millimeter thick, flat, sapphire crystal up top with AR coating. 20 millimeter lug width here, and the bracelet tapers down nicely to 18. Fully milled out clasp. You have quick release spring bars. You have the female uh, center link there so it articulates. It doesn't fully fold over, but it definitely does wrap it after it articulates. But also, underneath this, you'll notice there's no micro adjust, right? Wrong. It's the quick micro adjust, so you can do a toolless on the fly. You just pull this guy back, and you go ahead and pull that out, push it back in, whatever you got to do. H-Link bracelet, screw pin design. It's very familiar with a lot of other micro brands. I'm seeing, um, you know, the bracelet looks familiar to another micro brand, and then the clasp looks familiar to a different micro brand yet again. So I think this is going to be from the same type of manufacturer that's putting out very high quality uh, micro brands out there and that's definitely the case with this one too the weight on it is 160 gram sized for my seven and a quarter inch wrist that's got a little bit of heft to it guys i'm digging it i like the weight of it for a smaller watch like that it's it's different but i, I really like it so six and a half millimeter screw down crowns on both sides you have 200 meter water resist this side is obviously going to do your timekeeping i say obviously but who knows right this is the case. Okay, so excellent traction on the crown. Nice pop to it. You're going to be able to wind it in the first position. And then you can pop it one more position, change the date. Pop it one more. You can stop the seconds hand, adjust the time. It's using a Miyota 9015. So it's an excellent choice in movement. Keeps the watch thin. And it beats at 4 hertz and everything. Now this crown over here, you can flip it around and operate it like this if you're used to. If you can't, like adjust with your mind this way but as soon as it pops you get that inner rotating compass bezel so and it's very smooth there's no play in it it's it's like one of the tightest best feeling uh inner rotating bezels i've handled and then the threads on the crown tube assembly is perfect let's zoom in on this guy so you can take a closer look and you'll hopefully be able to see how excellent this dial is so it actually kind of pans up towards the center. There's a lot of depth going on here and actually even at the 12, 3, and 9, the panning of the center part of the dial is interrupted by those oversized indexes. I'm digging that. You have your date cut out at the 6 o'clock there and you can see that's also angled in depth. Very clean, well done. That brown is just stunning and then it's perfectly matched with faux patina. That's an excellent color to choose for faux patina. Good satin finish on the case. You have a display case back, but underneath the display case back there, there is an ant. So that's their lo that's part of their like logo. It's not really their logo, but it's part of their design. It has like an ant reading a map. It's a compass watch, and it's named the for uh, for for uh, Carpenter. So it has like the ant thing going there. Why an ant? I don't know. You'd have to ask the owners other than ants are tough as heck and they're very uh, focused in their work and they're 
you know, they know exactly where to go sort of thing. So I don't know if they're just feeding off from that aspect of those creatures. And that's what they're trying to portray in this watch. I, I, I can dig it. Let's pop it on my seven and a quarter inch wrist so you can see what it looks like. There you go. Now, the only way you get away with these large crowns, because that protrudes out of ways, is a smaller case. And this has the smaller case. It's like, you know, 39 by 46 and a half, essentially. Well, 39 and a half, but... There's no digging in the crowns or anything. I don't notice them. There's no problems with it. And I love the weight of it. All right, let's pop this off and check the loom on this thing. So whatever the studio lights gave it, that's what we're going to have here. Looks like we have a nice application, actually two-tone. So we do have some BGW9, and then it looks like we have some C3, if I'm not mistaken. So nicely done in the loom department. And this is a prototype, so the production models will be even better. But this has got to be like at least 98%. This is probably one of the most complete prototypes that I've handled before production. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.